Hello everybody, I'm Get Milky, and it's time for the second part for my Britannia campaign as Scotland. So yeah, I just finished recording the first part, and you know, I'm really enjoying it, so you know, I might as well start the second bit. So we're gonna be left off where I have to end the turn. No matter, take seconds. And we're gaining money slowly, which is really good. Most advantage faction is England. Whoops. So yeah, first thing off, we're gonna get some trade with Ireland. Their average, hmm. Trade rights, map information and map information, that's balanced. Okay, right, so now I know where all the Irish settlements are and where England is. Ooh, we've got a big army here, King Brian. Okay, and then we're gonna send our diplomat back. I'm gonna get some spies to go down to the English soil. You are mistaken, sire. If I can That's recruit any spies possible, anywhere? Sire. I, I don't need any of these sire. troops. Ooh, okay, That's let's... Not possible, sire. I'm not going to retrain you any of those. Mistaken, sire. Okay, that guy's voice is really annoying me now. We're going to continue on. Aye, sire. Off the boats. This now. place, again, it's got a very small army, but, you know, I might as well take it. To engage the enemy, sire. I'm going to... I'm to build four rams. You might as well. It takes one turn to build. Oh, Galloch. They're really powerful units, so the fact that I can actually build some of them are good. Mercenary cogs. Don't need any of those in the moment. I'm only here to fight the Yagalut. I'm really not fond of these rebels popping around everywhere. Oh god, they got some feudal knights. Jesus Christ. They're like they're powerful. <laughs> um That's not going to be good. Right, okay, let's end the turn again, and then we'll take this place. And, uh, yeah, benefactor, no. I, my lord. I, sir. Of course, sir. Um, what I'm looking for is actually any enemy advances on our borders. Because normally before the AI decides to go, yeah, we're going to attack you, they'll put a massive force, basically, on, on your borders, where you can see, and then they'll attack you. So, right, okay, let's take this place. 900 and something men. Usually, I don't even need to fight these. I could auto-resolve them. But, you know, at the, at the beginning stage, anyway, it's going to be a long time before I'm going to fight a force that's, you know, very formidable and ready to fight me. So I will just fight these guys anyway. It's about 1,000 men, so that's fine. So I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Okay, right. Let's start this, shall we? Move them up here, and then we'll get these guys going. And we'll get them going there. Sorry, this is going to take a while. There, okay, right. Alright, so they're going to the walls. They're going to be, you know, attacking them with all their fury. It's just Highland Rabbles, though, really. It's nothing too big. She's going to hit them from there. So they're defending that place with fury. Okay, and then we're going to move our men up. Completely forgot to do that. My formations don't even have to be very well done, to be honest. Uh, mainly because... Because, you know, it's such a small, crappy army that we'll be able to destroy them. Look, this Highland Rabble is pretty much gone. It lost about 50 men, so that's good. There we go, that's one. Yes, yes, hurry up. That's two. The gates have fallen. That's three. And we'll wait for the fourth one, but we... Whoa, okay, they're starting to fire out their archers. Let's move it back a little bit. Let's tighten our units. Can you guys not fit along this area? the hell? I don't know what's up with these guys. They, they're just not going into formation. Let's just attack them. I hate sieges. They're not fun. 
some of the time, unless you're defending them. Attacking the siege is, is bad. Now that we've got these guys open, we can we can put them. Our put them soldiers here. have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong okay. to us. Let's get them in. Basically, I'm just gonna, you know. Ah, oh, crap! They're moving into the center now. Actually, we captured their walls. Where's our general? You guys can come in now. Yeah, their their guys are just gonna overlap us. We're gonna start to take some heavy losses from this unit because they've got some Highlanders and some archer units. Highland rabble coming in though. Our Gallochman will be doing really well. Get them into there. Okay, so really we've we've done all we need to do now. And just bring our general in. What are you guys doing? And victory is a distinct possibility. So we're into the back of them now. We've lost 3%. They've lost 29% of their men. I'm just going to speed it up, and then we go. Should destroy these guys. Victory is a distinct possibility. Oh, my God. Why are these guys beating us? It's because our armies are not, like, I don't know, warmed up enough. However, our archers are beating them to a pulp. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash okay, the Okay, there we go. I'm just going to let it speed up and see how it goes. And then we've the won the battle. Badly bloodied. They have They've lost, lost half, half their, their men. men. Yes, they have lost half their men. Okay, as you can see, our archers are just destroying them. We're losing a lot of our small infantry forces. But anyway, when I get further into the campaign... I will be using a lot more advanced troops, like William Wallace and stuff like that. He'll be he'll be really cool. Ah, my lord. Our men are in control of the city. See, it sounds as if he was like going, ah, it's something bad is happening. No. What are we fighting? There we go. What are we? Oh, there we go. Okay. The enemy general lies dead. I think we, we just killed a lot of our men with our own barrage fire. The victory we have won we lost two units there, actually. That's kind of bad. I'll merge them together, though. Right, we won. There we go. We lost 383 men, and they lost 954. So I suppose that was an easy win again. I'm not gaining any experience here. Oh, well. I'll see you guys back on the campaign map. Okay, so he's gone. And we should have picked us up some nice cash. Yes, we did. We can sack the place. And we can repair it. Uh, we don't need any roads. That's the most stupid thing you could put there. And we're going to... Put a brothel there. So there we go. We've got some money. So we've got our army. There we go. So I've merged my units. Leave them there. Leave our men there. And now I'm going to prepare my first attack on the Norwegians, I think. Now, if I go to the faction diplomacy, England are enemies with Wales and Ireland. We don't have any enemies that are of any threat, and neither do Norway. So I think while England is occupied with that, I'll use my time to attack Norway, which is probably the best thing to do. And, um, yeah, let me just double check what I'm going to do. So I've got one army here that can be used to take Mull. Um, but Norway are all up at the top bit, so it's this army Inverness that are going to be doing something good. And what I'm going to do, actually, is take these knights my king. up here Aye. for my for my fight with them. So what have we got here? They've got good infantry, but really bad cavalry. So let's take Aye, some of these guys down. Aye. And we'll, Aye, sire. we'll take a catapult with us. Move out. And we'll put them there. And I'll put another general with them in case they decide to revolt against us. And yeah, no, I don't need any of these. So we can put them out to Inverness and then we can attack them from there. Stupid, stupid rebels are everywhere. 
and then we'll attack Norway, but only when, you know, I'm ready. So we end that again. There we go, we're getting good money there. Uh, about 2,000 coins we gained from that. Yeah, there we go. Faction announcement feels appreciated. Married celebration, blah, 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 blah. These are that. It is in both our interests to trade. Merchants at your service. Oh, ah, wow. Lord. Perhaps I have something you wish. Hmm, okay. That guy seems to be doing quite well with whatever he's doing. Merchants at your service. I. Who should I deal with then? No, I don't want him to attack him. I just want you to set trade. If you're gonna do that one, then. Whose coin do you have an eye on, my lord? Ah, there. Are... No, don't do that. Um, what should I build? An armor? At Perth? No, I think a great, great market would be good. Increasing trade. We I mean, need to put a drill square there. I always focus on my military before I concentrate on anything else. It's really bad. But uh, I'm going to wait and get some more cash before I do anything. And there's an army here, right, which I, I kind of want to take down. So I don't know if I'll use this army as a basic to attack him there. Viking raiders. They're not very powerful. When they turn again, I completely forgot about that. Mm, no. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to send a diplomat to Wales. To discuss? This seems there we go. Day to you. So, uh, we're really doing well with our pleasing the council of nobles. We've really done everything we need to do. Uh, now, all I want to do is get some spies there, to be honest. Uh, we've got a brothel here, I think, so I can make a spy. Irish Kearns. Okay. Light infantry. Okay, that's really cool. We train some dudes. Okay, mm so he's ready to attack Mull and Aaron. Aaron are a really small place. They won't be able to do much, so I'm leaving them for a while. Whereas one of their generals attacking there. I have no idea how big the Norwegian army is. They could easily come out and, uh, and just destroy me. So, yeah, we've got some men there. Let's get some... Let's get some Highlanders. I'll get three units of Highlanders and we'll leave them there and attack. This place is doing well. We can retrain the border horse. And I think that's about it. Let's see what else we need to do. I was I was wanting to make this armor, which I think I'll do. And then we'll gain some more money back because we're not really spending anything. Our navy, that's uh, something that's really bad. Die. Cog. You are not my commander. Eight and five. I can. Five and eight. I my king. So that's interesting. We need a good, good uh, sea army. Actually, that's good because they can land units from Norway. Whoops! All right, let's end the turn again. Benefactor, no. When you've got like a general that has that much less of a loyalty, there's no point in doing that. Right, let's send our whole army out and attack this rebel, <laughs> rebel guy. To engage the enemy, sire. Feudal knights. That's what I was. Uh, I want to show you guys the power of feudal knights. Actually, we'll fight this out. I think after this, I'm not really going to uh, do as many fighting on the battle map as I should do. But anyway, I'll see you guys on the battle map. Which will be interesting to see. Right, let's start this battle. And of course, they started over here in a weird fashion. And we'll put our men down here. Whoa, no. So they're choosing to attack us on a hill. Ah, <laughs> they're just gonna be mobbed by our men. This is not gonna be fun for them. The good thing is if their cavalry charges to ch decide to charge us, that will be also really bad. Highland archers. Ooh, we got a catapult in. Wonder if that will do a lot, a lot of damage. Can you guys hit at all? 
So they're coming in. I want them to attack the feudal knights. They're just charging us from the side, actually. I don't know what their meaning for that is. Oh well. Highlanders are doing really well. Let's wrap our men around them, shall we? And then get into them. Come on, go round, round. In our favor. If we remain true there we go. Fast, victory will be ours. Basically, our please. our horses are our just. There we go. <laughs> oh well. Guard them well, so we can watch us defeat the rest of his army. There we go. We've pretty much we've pretty much won. The great thing is now we've got cavalry, so we can just mop them up. Well, that was a worth battle, I think. Actually, it was very, very fast. Uh, I can just speed it up now. Only half the enemy force remains. What, what's remaining that's worth fighting? Look how there we go. Okay, we will. We won anyway. It is time to press the attack. And take as many of these rebels out so they don't come back again. So uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. So we've won. That, goes to only that was a good battle. So we lost 49 men. And they lost uh, 751 men, exactly. They lost everyone. That was hilarious. Oh, well, I'll see you guys back on the campaign map. Okay, right, so he's dead. Hooray! Ah, yes. Man of the hour. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, we'll adopt him. We'll put one unit back there. And what I realized is we've got no archers in this army. No archers whatsoever. We'll put another I unit can't. back. We'll, well, wait, no, we had like a Highland rabble. We'll put them back. And then we'll, we'll march to their borders. Oh, they've got some crossbowmen. I'm tempted. I'm tempted. The crossbowmen are actually really powerful. Um, I only on the hope that they just don't decide to come down from up here. That's why I've got this army. Right. Anyway, let's end the turn again. We'll go into them. Uh, in a second, I'm just going to check economy, basically. Is everything going okay? Have a claymore for you here, Jimmy. Okay. Get rid of them. We did. Land clearance. We'll get a green exchange. That'll be good. I am a warrior. Not and do we have any agents? Yeah, we've got a spy. Uh, I can't do anything, though, till the next turn Aye. when I can bring it back. But yes. Okay, right. Let's end the turn again. Benefactor, Prince Patrick, no. Norwegian King arrives. Okay. Large. Okay, he's probably come up from somewhere. And now's the time to go against them. Hmm. Fleet ready. Hi, Captain. Hmm. Call spotted Captain. We do not count you as enemies. Let's see what's going on. Viking Raiders. I don't know how powerful they're going to be. At your side. Where money is slowly decreasing. Or it's, it's slowly going up. Some cogs. Aye, Aye, sire. I'm going to bring him up Drop here. I really want to get another spy somewhere else on these lands. A brothel. That's what I need. Two turns. And then I can recruit some Aye, more spy tank. stuff here. Aye. Forward. Aye, Lord. Move out. We have a I'm full stack army here, side. so we'll see what they have to throw at us. There we go. Merge them again. Oh, no, it asks me this every turn. How many turns do we have? 261 turns remaining to conquer these places. Okay, so we need 45, and we've got 10. Relationships worsen. England are poor. Why? Holy crap. Let's leave each other be, yeah? That's a big army. Okay, never mind. We'll send our armies down. Castle Town seems to be very well defended. Now that's very, very disturbing, actually, because they can get a good foothold there. I am I think I'm just going to have to attack them now while they have a chance to, you know, bring up their men. I have not been sent here to speak. Where to? Onward. Men of March Norway are very poor with us. We're going to attack them here. So war has been started between us. 
No going back now. If I lose, I lose. Okay, let's end the turn. Kirk Wall in this thing's crap. Okay. Gordon, stop. Every single turn I'm being asked for that, actually. Oh, the English have come. Let's see. English. Oh, they're not against them yet. Okay, well, the English. If you guys can help us there, that'll be awesome. Something to investigate. Something to investigate. Okay, right. Something to get our get our English our Scottish spy down there. I don't know. I'm tongue twisted at the moment. No, we will not leave each other be. Huskarls. I'm gonna attack their castle. And we'll put some. Oh, I can actually attack them straight away, actually. However, they have... Oh my god, wow. Let's just uh, maintain the siege. They've only got a captain, so I'm pretty sure I can take Wick with no... No problems. Mailed Knights. If I lose that force up there, I'll be devastated. My armies in the north will be completely shattered. Now I'll only have Alexander Town, to Alexander Coyam to help me, really. But we're getting there, right? Let's end the turn again. All right, they're attacking us. They're attacking us. Okay, right. Who's this? He's just a general. Okay. They have a lot of men. They only have two units of horses, though. Um, their dismounted hurls are very powerful, so our main normal units will not stand a chance. It'll definitely be our cavalry that'll have to help us. This is a pretty big battle, so after this I'll end the part. I don't know how long it will be. But anyway, I will see you guys back on the campaign, uh, battle map, sorry. Okay, right, let's see. They're gonna come down a hill to meet us. And what are we gonna do? We're gonna sit on a big fat juicy hill to fight them. Those are the ways the Scots go. Right, see, we're still fighting with a ragtag army, and the Norwegians pretty much have the power already for what they're wanting to do. So I'm going to pop my archers there. I'm going to pop my catapult close by. And then in front of them, we've got a long line of pikemen. And then we've got a long line of our own rabble. I'm going to pop them out to be that long. And then we're going to have two cavalry flanks. How many uh, cavalry do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to have three on this side. Which will group them there as them. And then we'll group these guys. And put them in the woods, actually. And we'll group them together. So maybe they'll come along that side. And then, of course, our, our main general. He'll sit here. We have another unit? Oh yes, we've got one left. We'll put him in here. And we'll pop him in the woods. Actually, no, that's probably a bad idea. We'll knock him. We'll knock him here. Yeah, right. Okay, right. This is very, very serious because look at the army that are coming to fight us. They hope to make up in numbers what they lack in courage. Their units are very fearsome, and they're going to basically run into our lines, and we're going to have to defeat them. However, I'm, I feel very, very safe, actually, on this hill. Uh, and their army looks kind of crap from there, actually. I'm just going to speed it up a little bit, see whether they come closer to us. Our foes appear to be gaining the upper hand in this battle. Yeah, they seem to be gaining a big advantage, actually. Okay, hurt them, men! What are you doing? Are you guys serious? You can't actually hit them. There we go. Finally! So we're going to let the volleys of arrow fire go while we slowly creep our cavalry round. Okay, right. So our archers should be making light work of their men. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was pretty big. And they're running up a hill against us. This this should be promising. 
We're gonna bring our cavalry round. And now is the time to spring our trap. Hopefully they won't notice this. And of course, where's my missiles? Put them off skirmish mode, let them fire in. So they're running their men up, now's my time. Run guys, run guys, run round. Help our men across the straight line. Bring out men to fight them. And our our guys are very slow. We can actually wrap around them slightly. Why are you guys not running? Uh, let's get our killing king to blow his horn. Hammer and anvil. That would be good. these guys out. Use them to attack them. So their cavalry is losing that engagement. Oh, we can attack these Viking Raiders with ease. And get them to attack their other guys. There are Raiders. There we go. We killed their general. We have sent the car to hell. And so they've lost their first line. Oh shit! All right, you guys can come back. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Like yes, the, the fortune of battle is going our way. Heavy huskarls are gone. Only Infantry. The enemy force remains. Group. Reform your line. The army flees the field. After them, cut the cowards down. But we'll use our cavalry to mop up their forces, as I usually do. And then, the only guys left... Yeah, we've lost 16% of our men. So really, we're going to just rack up and wait for the next attack. Turn these guys off, fire at will. Lost 16% of our men. That was pretty good. The engagement here was really good. Our pikemen, they did take quite a few losses. But they managed to hold off really strong infantry units. They're cavalry, so that's fine. You guys can run up ahead. Okay, we've got these guys back. We've only we've got a couple more units of cavalry coming in. They do have a general's bodyguard. They've got some Sami Axemen, dismounted Huskarls, and Viking Raiders. We've won this. Come on, I want to take these guys out. It's good. Put our cavalry back over on this flank here. They're warmed up, we'll run them across. And our king, he doesn't even have to do anything. All right, let's move these guys out here. Let's see what's going on. I don't understand why these guys will not just kill them. There they go, finally. Finally, you guys are doing it. There we go. Dropping like flies now. What I really gotta make sure I do. Oh, which is really good. I can flank these guys now. These guys Our should men be warmed are winning up. the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. And. Let's get him to fire into their, their king. Or not their king, their general. Got a unit of cavalry. Some of our cavalry took some pretty heavy losses here, actually, I think. Fire on their king. And our archers are firing into them. I'm not going to waste these two units here by sending them in like that. That'll be suicide. Let's see if we can get some shots into their king. Oh, no, I keep saying their king, their general, man. Their general. Urgh. These guys in. Get these guys ready. 
I'm gonna get these guys mega ready. On fire, one more vault into them. Okay, here we go. Okay, right, let's get our cavalry. In. Got, got one good hammer and anvil coming up behind them there. They're shaking. men behind using a little bit more men there but not that much okay we've got our archers firing at us which is kind of a bad idea so they're routed kill them get them sorted winning the battle if we continue like this we will smash the enemy Okay, where is our general? Only half the enemy force. Victory is a distinct possibility. Look at their jet, their generals unit. Where is our pikemen? Ah, they're fighting to the death. They're broken. Okay, that's good. We lost a lot of our cavalry there. We need to get a good stable unit up here. But oh well, let's see. Let's speed this up a little bit. Mighty Kill their general. Up. There we, we go. Captured the enemy general. Then and ah uh, yeah he's run. he's dead and, and stuff like that right. Look cool. how our cowardly foe runs. It is time to press the attack. Okay, so let's end the battle here. I We've won Andrew heroic Clark victory. Wow. <laughs> we lost barely any men. Remember it as the day of our most glorious victory. We killed 755 men and we took the rest as prisoners. Right, so let's uh, continue on. I'll see you guys back on the campaign map. Okay, right, so let's execute them. They've got a, you know, a general. I don't want them to hang around. All right, okay, that's a fleet. That's okay, run away. Oh, we'll have to fight them. Pursue, occupy the settlement. Hooray, there we go. Right, okay, so I'm gonna have to end this part now because I've been playing for ages. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, guys, and I'll be back to bring you another part soon.